What's up everyone, thanks for joining us again for a new game on the channel, a channel called Their Billions. I actually bought this game at the end of December and have yet to play it, um, at least when we're on camera. I did play a couple games off cam, try to get the feel for it and all. So we're going to start a new series playing this game here, it seems pretty fun, it's more of an RTS um, zombie game, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, that'll work. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll delete that and start a new one. So in this area here, you can apparently, eventually we'll be able to pick all these different areas, but it is still in early access, I believe. Um, still being in development. This is the survival aspect of it. There's supposed to be another game mode that they're working on. I think it might be a campaign, but we can change these settings as well. So we could do 150 day game duration, the game would be easier, 120, I guess that'd be kind of in the middle, 100 is challenging, 80 days is brutal. So I've been doing 100 days, I haven't tried 80 days yet, but 100 days in itself is, is pretty difficult. The highest I've gotten to so far on the gameplays that I've played outside of this here would probably be right around the 50 day-ish mark. And, uh, you could do a high population, low, you know, it just, on how, depending on how, how much infected you want. So, again, I've been using it as challenging. So, everything's been at challenging, basically. And, and it is challenging. <laughs> so, we'll, uh, we'll see what it's like once we log in. So, you basically start off the game with four archers and one soldier. And you have one little basic hub or uh, what's deemed a command center. So if your command center falls, your game is over with. Uh, that's just the way it is. So we have four archers that we're gonna scout with a little bit, just to try to widen the area. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so I don't have to move the camera around as much. But we're gonna zoom out, try to expand what we can see and uh, get an idea of what we're looking at as far as the layout of the land. You now, plan. this right here is iron. Okay. That up there should be stone. Um, oh, we got to. Oh, we got to back off. Yeah. Back off quick. <laughs> A bunch of infected. So this is all the infected. We can zoom in on it. Right here. And it doesn't pull all of them when you run into them, but my archers are pretty stealthy. You'll notice that. The more noise you make, of course, the more it draws them in. Okay. The more stealthy you can be when you're you're scouting. The Are you sure? the better you'll be as far as them coming towards you. And then uh, we're not gonna go too too far out. We just want to get a rough lay of land. Yes. Try to figure out what's what. Great. And we'll put Come this on, guy girl. down here. You are so for this, right? we know there's some affected down there. We're gonna put him there. If anybody comes up this way, he'll shoot them. Now we do have some resources right here that we could look Great. at. Uh, looks like wood, and that might be gold right there. That might be gold. That's wood, I believe, and wood. I believe that's what that is. Yeah, it looks like wood planks, and that looks like gold. We're not going to pick that up yet. We're going to get a little bit more scouting done, and we'll save that for when we need it. Um, what I would like to see... Oh, we got some more infected okay. right here. So basically what we're going to have to do is build defenses in certain areas. So this could be a choke point here. We do need to go okay. back up Let's here and see what's up this way. Um, more resources. This might be a good choke point. Good big right. choke point right there. This looks like that could be stone. So... Yeah, that's got to be stone with some more gold. Again, that's iron right there that we could we could mine up um, if we put a quarry on it. Let's go over here. More stone. How far out can we go with this choke point? And Roger that. oh, there's infected. Okay. All right, so it might be a good natural choke point right here from from yeah. stone to stone or mountain to mountain range right here. 
let's thin out some of this right here. Hopefully, no more comes. Okay. Some might be coming slowly. Let's okay. go ahead and thin it out a little bit more. Yeah, there's a bunch right here. We don't want to aggro all that. All right, that should be good. All right, let's go back this way. Let's check up up here. Take a peek. We need wood in order to build okay. a lot of our structures. Um, but that's going to be outside of our choke point sure? if we build the choke point based around the mountain. We also need Great. area to put down huts for uh, yeah. more people. So we're going to have to expand gotcha. and expand a lot. Okay. Great. I'm trying to think of the best way to choke this off because there's more people yes. there. We need water so that we can fish. Okay. We need woods so that we can hunt and get Great. wood. This is stone that we can put a quarry on. That's gotcha. good. This actually works out really well right here. Whatever you say, so as long as you this we can use. Okay, here's more dead. More dead. All right, so we kind of get an idea of where we're at from this right here. Now we had dead down here. Man, we had dead over here. We have dead over here. We got dead over here, and then we have dead over here. So let's pause. You can pause, and let's see. We need a couple things first. So if you look over on this side, this tells you how many colonists you have, which we have zero right now. All we have is our archers and our soldier, which is down here. This tells you how you how many workers you have, and we have five workers. This is your food production, so we're consuming one, we have 19 available. And this is your energy rating. Consuming zero, 30 available. Now, when you build things, like your colonists are gonna be here, you'll see that each time you put down a tent, it's gonna take four food, one energy, 30 gold, and it'll provide all that stuff at the bottom. So it'll give me four colonists, it'll give me two workers. And it give me eight gold per tick. Uh, right now we're at 193 per tick on gold. Uh, if we add one of those there, that would boost it up to 201. So that's how that works. Now resources. We need wood. So we have to put a sawmill down in order to get wood. And, but it requires four workers, four energy, and uh, 300 gold. Now... If I put this down, I can only put it down where I have a grid. So, in order to expand that, I have to put down what's called the Tesla Towers. And when you put this down, as you can see, it expands the area that you can move out in. So, I want to get to this water for sure. So, we're definitely going to put one, put one here. I'd like to put wood on the back side, a sawmill on the back side of this, so I'm probably going to want to put another tower, and then we can choke this off and put a wall up and barricade that. That might be our first starting choke point. Um, I do want to expand out here, so we may, we may make a choke point instead of going here to here, we may do it from here to here. That way we could probably do another choke point over here. And then we'd have access to water, wood, all this stone for a quarry, all this water, and that would be a good choke point. And then for now, to begin, we'll probably do a choke point right up in this area here. And then, being that we have people down this way, we may just do... Man, I could do a choke point here, but... It'll be a big choke point here, or I could just do straight across. I don't know yet. Hmm, that one's going to be harder to figure out. We may just have to clear out some more people and uh, figure out better areas to choke it off. So, what I want to do first, like I said, is I want to get some energy spread out. So, let's go ahead and do this to there. Uh, we can also go ahead... Oh, we're out of resources. So, we need more wood. We may send one of our guys to go pick up this wood here. And we could go ahead and pick up the stone. We'll leave the gold. That way we have plenty of gold. 
That way we can keep building though. So let's go ahead and take one of my guys, move her okay. down but here. It's gonna cost you double. And let's go ahead and play again while all that stuff's going on. We'll leave those three guys up there doing their thing. If I can get 20 stone right off the bat and some wood, we could go ahead and get... Oh yeah, we might be able to get a command, a soldier center down pretty quick. So we need workers. It's 20 wood, 20 stone. All right. you are gonna pay me for Let's go ahead and move her here sure? and here. Yes. And we'll go ahead and get her Sounds interesting. to come up here. Actually, let's go ahead and see. All right, my Tesla towers are complete. Can we get some more workers in? How many we need? Four, eight workers. So this is going to give me two per, so I need to lay down at least five. I'd like to keep them somewhat in line. It tells you where you can build at, so if it's red, you can't build there. Because you need space between the buildings to move, so. Two, four, six, eight. And I'm out of food. So, we gotta get food production underway. Luckily, we have the woods right here. And we can put a hunter's cottage. Um in this area. That's 15, that'll be 16, 16, 15. Let's put it here. And then, I don't have enough for a sawmill yet to lay down a sawmill. Okay, so next thing, we gotta get, like I said, we gotta get this choked up here. So this allows us to put that there, which would be good. And now that this is here, we can actually put fishing excuse me, fishing on the banks of the water here as well. So that's good. Um, yeah, we kind of need to do this. Get that there. And can I do... Nope, I am out of resources. So we got 25 energy right now, which is good. We're going to have to get some more energy down soon as we keep building. So what are we needing? We need food for more of these. Um, we need workers for the sawmill, which I'll get once this is done. Um, hmm. That's one energy. Let's see if we can't slash a fishing cottage out here and it not get hunted down by zombies. So we can put one here, 14. All right, let's put one right there. We want her to go pick up the stone, and you know I'll probably pick up that gold while I'm there too, just to do it. Um, he's still guarding down this way. We may need her to start guarding this Tesla tower because it will, it will start to attract people. Great. Yeah. And grab that. All right, and she can just chill right here. So if anybody comes close, she'll start to see them, and. She'll take him out. He needs to patrol probably from here to there. That will work. Uh, they're still doing work. Yep. All right. So now we have some more people. Now that we have more people, we need to get a sawmill down. So nine wood. Nine wood. I can't build right there. Eight wood. Nine, 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 nine. Eleven, twelve, twelve, twelve. Eight, nine, that's going to eat into there. If I go on the back side, will I be able to put another one? Yeah, I should be able to put another one on the back side. So we're going to go ahead and just do nine wood right there. By putting that there, I should be able to put another one on the back side and get some more wood this way once this is up. So that's what we'll do to get that going. Um, food, how's food doing? We're gonna get more food here and more food here. We'll be okay. Now, can we put more? No, food's not doing it. Energy's doing okay. So we'll get, yeah, we'll get more food once this is up. This and that, and then we can make more people. All right. I got 20 stone right off the bat, which is amazing. You usually have to put a quarry down to get the stone. So if I can get the workers right away, 
in the woods of production is going to start now soon. We can get a command center, a soldier center down real fast, and then we can start making more troops, which would be awesome. So let's go ahead and do this. Let this keep going here. Attention. All right. Building completed. Hunter's Cottage down. Food's down. All right. Let's go ahead and let's pause again. I find I pause a lot in this game just so that I can kind of think things out. What do we need for this? Energy. Gold. We got gold. We got energy. We got food. All right. Now, you can't put another row because, like I said, you need room to walk around these. So, I could go this way or I could skip and then do like this. And I'll probably skip and do like a so. But also need to put another tower down in order to continue that. And we need wood for that. <laughs> um, we could do this, though, in the meantime. Um, let's get as much workers as possible. That way we're not waiting. And I try to keep my workers kind of in the middle. All my little huts in the middle. And there's a reason for that. Later on down the line, we'll be able to put a, uh, a market down. I mean a warehouse down. And then we'll also be able to put a market, which is something you can research. And when you start doing that there, you want to kind of have it around. You want the market around your people for sure. Uh, the warehouse you want around your resources in a way but if we get that far we'll, we'll explain that then so um, where we're at now all right she's there that's there uh, food is low again once we put all these down that made food drop so do we have enough for a woodcutter yeah we do so now 12 13 10 10 8 Nine, uh, ten, ten, seven, eight. So we'll probably just go ahead and do right here. Ten. Can I put another hunter's cottage back here? Thirteen, no, fifteen. Fifteen, perfect. All right. And that'll give me fifteen. More food. Um. We kind of need to work on more energy now. So, we need more wood, we need workers, and then we can throw down some more energy. To get the soldiers, though, we need workers. This is what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So, that'll be 14 more workers. So, that'll be give us 15 total. I need 8 for this, and then I would need forwards that'd be 12 so it'd be good the biggest thing is going to be wood i need more wood i need 20 wood and then i need 20 wood so i need 40 wood once we get the sawmills up and going we'll get wood production caught up and then that'll be my two big things dropping more power down and dropping down a soldier station to make some soldiers we need that asap because right now we're doing all right, but you are gonna pay me um, for this, right? Probably want to put her say, up here to watch. As long as you pay me, and uh, leave these two up there. We could start building a defense once we get more wood, but it's not a rush at the moment. We're not being pushed by zombies, and we can build that wall right here, and can put somebody there watching that, but. Let's go ahead and play. We're only on day three. We can't progress too, too fast. So we're doing good. Now, every so many days, there is a horde that comes. And uh, it's a lot of zombies. And the more you progress in the game, of course, the, uh, the bigger the horde that comes towards you. So you have to prepare defensively in order to accommodate for that. So. Attention. Building completed. Right. So we have all those. We're waiting on a sawmill still. Does somebody right. need a mayor? So let's see. This guy here. I'll get a sniper with the biggest gun in town at my disposal. 
If I do this, you will increase my iron reserves. That's not an issue. Let's do this here. Let's get ourselves a sniper. Sniper early is kind of nice. Let's go ahead and move you over here. And he can sit here and he can snipe anything that comes this way. Alright, so sawmills are up. Uh, we're at plus 19 every 8 hours. We're going to need some wood. <laughs> Um, let's go ahead and power. Can we do power yet? No, we need 20 wood for that. Man. What about this here? I could do another one once I get wood. Man. Wood is the, the hiccup right now. We're waiting on wood. So, <clears throat> not having a big forest to pick from is, uh, it's becoming an issue at the moment. Alright, so we have enough for power? Not quite. Almost. One more for power. We can drop that. Alright, good. Now, I kind of want to put that in a spot that I'm not worried about building in. That would be perfect right there. Alright, and then we are waiting on two more wood and we can drop this thing down and we'll be golden. Come on, give me two more wood. Can I get two more wood, please? And then we'll start using wood to build some defenses. <clears throat> Alright, two more wood. Alright, um... Let's go ahead and... Let's put it right here. She is doing all right let's go ahead and move him a little bit closer he has a pretty good range as far as what he can see all right so now that is completed let's take a minute to pause and let's look at our situation the uh, typically when they save game for you <laughs> a horde might be coming soon so I don't like that there's a lot of undead up here I think I could build that wall right where these guys are. <clears throat> it would be nicer if I could have put it a little bit further, but right here would be good to start. That's probably my most immediate threat. Um, well, I know we're wide open here. I still don't know how big that horde is over this way, but I'll probably get this wall up and then put somebody there to watch it. And then maybe push here a little bit see how far we can push that in if we could push that in further and maybe put a wall further this way that would give us more room and uh, we'd have some wood for resources now quarry four workers we need more workers but first I have to do energy to continue building in here in this way in this area here Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. We could put a house there and then put this here. And that would expand us. Like that. I don't have enough. And then we could do another one here to expand energy that way. That's what we're going to have to do. Alright. Once this is built, we can put some more scouts out here, and we can start pushing some of these other areas open. <coughs> Excuse me, to get an idea of what's going on. But that is the general gist of it so far. So we're right around day five, exactly, at the zero hour. And so far, we're doing all right. This map doesn't look too bad as far as defensible. Um, this is going to be my biggest area to overcome right here, I think. Once we get this defended, we'll be alright. Once we get this set up a wall, we'll be alright. This I don't think will be too hard. And then I'm thinking we could probably push this in and put something there too without it being too bad. But this is going to be the, the hiccup because, I don't know, we might be able to do something here and we might be able to do something here and here just to seal that off. That might be the solution for now. <clears throat> Instead of building a big wall this way, we do one here, we do one here, we do one here. And that gives us a little bit more real estate 
and really our wall is not right on our camp, so I don't know. We'll figure it out, but that's where we're going to end this episode. We'll pick up from here in the next one. Hopefully you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. If you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel already. Leave any comments you like down below. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.